destiny, Rich. Good morning, viewers. How you going? Well, today, today, we're going to get ready for a burn-off we're going to do next door tomorrow. So, what I'm doing is I'm opening up this track, which I pushed along the western side. And if you have a look there, you can see that I've been doing it for a little bit. And we're going to go right along and we're going to double it up so that if the fire does jump, um, a fire break on his side and gets into this rubbish, it uh, shouldn't get into my rubbish over there. So anyway, I'm going to put you up here on the magnet and uh, we'll see how we go. Don't forget to subscribe. Love you guys.
all up there, big brother. Good boy. Good boy. Now.
sticks. Come on, here we go. Off to the side with you. That'll compost down like a few.
front way guys. Stride over I think. Side right. way.
was it? Now are you? No, it wasn't.
one hour or one and a half hours, one hour, down to uh, 20 minutes or so. It's important that uh, people know that if there is a fire and it gets over, into the uh, main paddock, I've done whatever I could to try and negate that. By uh, doubling the road width, making it really wide, and um, yeah. Now we're going to burn tomorrow morning, I think, when it's cool. Now the grass has got some green in it, which is important. We don't want brown grass. We don't want dry, dry grass. We want a nice, cool burn. I think the uh, Indigenous First Nation people of Australia have it right when they say, "Look, you've got to, you got to burn country, but you're going to burn it right." And um, I got a lot of respect for those guys. They know what they're doing. They've learned from their elders. Uh, yeah, I wish I had a few of them here, except he's probably playing Diablo 3, if you're watching me fella, my son, my son is Aboriginal, and uh, he knows a fair bit about fires, and um, First Nation practices. His grandfather taught him, and I'm glad he did. His grandfather was a, was a nice bloke. He was rough. You wouldn't want to meet him on a shitty night in the pub. But uh, i got to tell you, the guy knew what he was talking about, and he looked after his family. Especially, especially his kids. Someone came near his kids. Ooh, looking at him. Big problem. Anyway, uh, rest in peace, Bill. And uh, well, we'll see how it goes tomorrow. I'm going to double this up. You can see all the crows on the on the track. They're just picking up all the worms and the bugs, and they're having a great feast. They love it when I do this sort of thing. So I'm going to go down this side a little bit up here. There's this side here. It's just a big bomb. There's fuel everywhere with this dry grass. So I'm going to try and... Um, I'm going to try and uh, wipe that even further to uh, see if we can uh, stop any embers coming across here. I will be up here with a tank and water and all that sort of stuff to try and um, put out any spot fires. But uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see. But I am trying to do everything I can with the machinery that I've got to try and make it um, as safe as possible. Stop here. 
here. I don't want to dig that stump out. I don't need to if I don't need to. Fill in this hole. There we go. Filled it in. I don't want to make it wide, wide so that, you know, it's a two lane highway. I mean, this is a council road I'm playing on. You know, to tell you the truth, they should probably be up here doing this, but oh well.
I got to do is from that middle road that I already pushed down to um, down to here. So we'll see what happens there. But anyway, battery dead. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Ring the little bell for notifications. See you next time.